jumped right up. And I mean, we call the Wisconsin Rapids Waterworks and Lighting Commission meeting to order. Uh, uh, Rick Merdam has had an excused absence today. Uh, number two, uh, approvals, additions, or corrections to the minutes of the following meetings. Uh, special commission meeting held on March 9th, 2016. Would somebody like to make a motion to approve? Chair Hopper. Dan White made the motion to approve. I'll second it. Joe Kaziki made did a second. Is there any discussion? If not, all in agreement, please say aye. Aye. So, <clears throat> next one, regular commission meeting held March 9th, 2016. Uh, would somebody like to uh, make a motion to the approval of those minutes? Sure. Mike Phillips. I'll second. Made the motion and John uh, uh, made the second. Is there any other discussion? If not, all in agreement, please say aye. 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 Thank you. All right, uh, action items 3.1 City Band Concert Sponsorship Request. A few years ago, I think actually Mike had brought this to us as a help, uh, help the community and sponsor band concerts. So we've done it the past two years, I think. Um, and the cost for that is $250. And I know last year we participated a little more. I know Todd and actually Sean were out there with their kids and passing out giveaways and stuff like that with water and light on it. So. But it's the commission's pleasure whether we continue to do this. I make a motion we continue. I'll second. Okay, we have Mike uh, Phillips made a motion uh, for the band concert, and I believe John Bergen second. Uh, any other discussion? If not, all those in agreement, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, Department of the Safety Committee. Yes, and I'm trying to remember, not not that often actually. I, I'm trying to remember last year, did we have maybe yeah, one? Yeah, Beasting or something. Uh, yeah. Straka. Yeah. yeah. We had Dave hurt his shoulder in the one pit, and then we had um, another person that had a manhole cover fall on their foot that just went to urgent care, but that was no lost time. Do we have light duty policy of somebody? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what Dave's back on light duty right now. Okay, good. I see a, a plaque out here in 2011, we had an, an award. We've not qualified since then, or what's the? I think the plaques are spread out now. We have won the MEW Safety Award the last several years. Um, yeah, the, the last year's plaque is in my office. <laughs> <laughs> Next to the Star Wars stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll go there. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, we, and we won yeah the last several years the EPA and the MUW won. So okay, keep up the good work. Um, any other comments? If not, the line superintendent's report. I've got a comment to make. All right. The, the other day I stopped on Pepper where they were working. And I've got to say that they treated me decent and like a gentleman, and, and it was it was nice, very really nice. And I want you to know that. Good, I'll relay the message. I don't remember the lineman's name. I would have been Joe Scrooge's. I wouldn't know. Yeah. I guess customer service means a lot. It must. It's, well, now this morning coming to work, 
for coming here at the work. <laughs> Not to be confused. <laughs> but when you look down the road, the lights, I mean, you know what's going on. Three, four blocks ahead of you. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. They've been really going to town on that project, too. So. You know, I, I've, I've been looking, you know, Todd brought it up about how nice the poles are. <laughs> on first and third, and uh, and then down Pepper, and they're like right on line. It looks very good. Any other comments, questions? If not, uh, water department operations. Looks like our. Well, levels are looking really good. Just from my comment, and we're down almost to the high point. <laughs> That's That's our good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, it's uh, inch and a half in the year. Why? <laughs> Lots of water. That's good. We've had. We've had. Lots of precipitation. Oh, yeah. Some unwanted this month, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, anything else, uh, Dale? Not the office manager's report? I got water disconnection protocol. Uh, you said you have work with the police department. When the water is turned off because then it's a delinquent property or whatever? Uninhabitable. Uninhabitable. Correct. Um, does, wouldn't a lot of these be landlord owned? The great majority of them are. And uh, do you work with the landlord on that when that happens? We do work somewhat with the landlord. It's more of a notification uh -huh. process for the landlord just to let them know what's going on. I mean, it's, their, it's more or less a courtesy to the landlords. Sure. But once the, once the water's turned off, is it usually hard to get the people out if it's uninhabitable? Did you have to do this on your own? Or is the police, the police department is now notified that you're doing this? They are notified and it's, yeah. Um, there hasn't been evictions this year. So I can't speak to how difficult it, it was because it wasn't happening. That was part of the problem that we discovered. Okay. That we well, tried to address. To push it. I see. So um, we hope to get this new process going in the next few weeks. Great. Okay. Uh, does anybody else have any questions or comments? Okay, the Director of Finance. Oh, one other thing, uh, we said that trip in the, um, <coughs> the tax collection uh, for delinquent utility buildings. It looks like we're doing another good chunk of money this year. We're at a last year's pace, so. Yeah. yeah. Pretty effective. Um, I was looking at uh, you know the, the uh, profit and loss statement, mm -hmm. and the the blow off to the city sewer is that is there a special item for that, or is that just incorporated in some other? It's incorporated under the um, on the water plant for the like, just the general expenses. I take it it's not that high of a cost. Anymore. It's not that high of a cost anymore. No. Okay. You know, when we when we changed how we treat the water, that go one from what 20, 25 grand a month down to a couple thousand. Okay. Does anybody have anything else? Uh, if not, the Information Systems Administrator report.
Something's at the door. Frank's needs it. What is it you're trying to get <clears throat> in terms of a vendor where you have no competition? What is? What are the items? You're indicating that you're joining an organization to find yeah. another competitor. The organization is a general, it's a general, uh, I guess, IT organization for governmental entities. So, like the state agencies and the county agencies and the city agencies are all together, just kind of a, a group forum. Um, so I pose the question out to them as to who uses, you know, what vendor for different types of services. Um, and I was looking for more of like a general contractor for IT. Most of the ones that people use are the ones from their local areas. So they don't handle outside of, say, Green Bay or outside of Milwaukee or outside of Madison. Um, the two vendors that I do have are statewide. They're actually multi-state. So they're actually, you know, north central Wisconsin. And, well, north, the north central United States, so Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, um, Iowa. Um, all those states, they all have offices in, in every one of them. <coughs> Problem I'm having is I can't find another good, you know, third quote, I guess, for these projects. Um, so a question would be, are you okay if I just bring two? Or should I really push to try to get this third one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's impossible, it's impossible. I think we had some of that with the with the water well, 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 situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, the well thing. So. Well, I think some of my, some of Matt's frustrations are some some of them aren't the most timely. Right. As far as getting stuff to them and, and quotes and stuff, so at this point in time, it's slowing down some of his projects. And there was so. the third vendor that I had ran into a legal obligation issue, and they could not quote our our projects. There was a, a salesperson that we had worked with with another company that helped us last year and she moved to this company so they had to bow out. So now we're searching for somebody else to bid it. Right. <laughs> and the only problem I'm running into is they're all small shops so they can't handle something as large as we are. So it's not impossible, it's just going to be hard. So. I'll push forward and try to get that third quote. So, John, what did you say yes to? To get three quotes? Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. Is that surprising? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I agree. That's what I would do. Okay. And I know, so it's very, I think it's very frustrating when you, you, you feel that people would want to do business after the rocky times we went through, that everybody would just be dying, though. Mm -hmm. you know, come with us and because your projects aren't exactly small. Right. And that they really want to, you know, get into our bidding process. Well it's not that they don't want to. Most of the companies I've talked to in the last couple of weeks could only do one portion or another oh. with any competence. I see. And then they'd have to work with somebody else that you would pick and that So we'd either need a subcontractor or we'd have to go with a completely different and dual responsibility is no responsibility usually. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I don't want to run into that. <clears throat> right. People have my point fingers. Uh, anything else of Matt? Uh, if not, conservation managers report. Is there some issue with the uh, WOW uh, supply that they're concerned about, or is this just a routine? It's specifically routine. Um, it's kind of a common thing we're seeing that industries, larger industries are doing, just taking analysts of their energy use for the year, and other companies are looking at them see if they can cut back on energy uses at certain times. The only other thing there is we talked a little bit offline between meetings here about uh, 
the scholarships and uh, what we might do to uh, get more attention for our offerings and and so on. So I, I think uh, Sean will follow up on some of those items. Yes, we tentatively have a, um, I have a meeting scheduled in Maine with Miss State Technical College, the foundation director. Um, they possibly may be starting a new program that kind of coincides with our scholarship offers of possible employment along with the scholarship. So in May, we'll be discussing that with the foundation director. So that'll be a positive note for 2016, the previous year. Is there anything else? Uh, then how about director of engineering and electrical operations, electric operations? Any comments on blueprints? Uh, it's been a very worthwhile experience. Um, met a lot of interesting people that I'm now comfortable with at other organizations so that in the future, if Water and Light ever has to make contact with those um, places, I have you know a face that goes along with the name. And uh, uh, I'm on the city's team, so I made some really good relations with the city employees. So been a very positive program. On the filter plant PLC upgrade, is that completed or close to completion? Very close. Um, Moses is heading that up for us and we have one PLC left which is on filters one, two, and three and that'll be the last one that we are changing out to the newer style. Good. So then probably end of this month or May? Uh, May 4th and 5th, I think, is what we're planning. So yeah, we're going to replace the transformer at Gainer Sub with the one that's being repaired on the 2nd and 3rd of May, and then do the filter plant on the 4th and 5th, so that'll be a busy week. Anybody have uh, any other questions? If not, the general manager's report. Um, solar project in Marshfield. You want to talk about that a little bit? Well, there at, at this point in time, there is no project. I mean, Marshfield has been trying to convince Great Lakes Utilities to do a community solar project um, because I don't think they want to be the only party involved in doing it. Um, so preliminary discussions have taken place as far as how we would do it. Um, and now Marsfield is conducting some market research with their customers to see what type of interest level there would be out there to subscribe to the, to the community solar project. So once we get that information and if they make it available to us, which we think they will, then we'll start fine-tuning it to see if it's worthwhile. Um, but a lot of what we're hearing at like the Joint Action C workshop that I went to and a number of, of other conferences is that everybody's kind of cool in their heels now on renewable because of this, the, you know, the, the EPA's uh, reduction um, because if anybody puts it in now they're not going to get credit for it so everybody's kind of laying back and waiting to see what happens with the uh, um, with the regulations before they jump in and start doing things so actually there's been a slowdown in the industry in renewables because of the, the regulations so but we'll we'll see what it looks like I mean solar even with the tax incentives is still a 15 to 17 year payback. So, um, and glue right now is presently three to four percent above what our state renewable goal is already with the wind we're buying. Um, so that would even push us up higher above the threshold. And, and Nilash and I are kind of of the opinion that 
until we do see what's going on with the regulation, we don't want to spend a whole lot of money and not get credit for it. So that's kind of where we're at. So the next step is to get Marshfield to research and, and see if there's interest there. Didn't have one of our pool meetings, a gentleman from uh, River Falls, don't they have a uh, community solar project? There's, yes, and it's, it, it's been approved by the PSC, um, and that's why some of our hesitation there, I mean, he made it seem like they would sell that thing out immediately during that presentation, and they're still sitting at only one-third subscribed. Uh -huh. Because so you've got to take a big hit, right? Yeah. Economically, in order to. Well, yeah, you're charging the customer an, an additional increment per kilowatt hour, or you're collecting it all up front, one or the other. Yeah. So, yeah. They've got to want to be green. Right. Right. Um, also, a question on the uh, wind energy and the. Uh, is it actually operating at a loss? It is uh, essentially a small one, yeah. <laughs> um, a good way of looking at it is we're paying that 18 bucks for the renewable energy credits. Um, the problem is <clears throat> where these wind facilities are located, there's several other ones located right next to them, especially when, when we're talking the MISO transaction areas. So when the wind's blowing, they're all generating, and it depresses the prices in that area that we're able to get for the for the energy per megawatt hour. Um, and when the wind's not blowing, then the price spikes up because there de there's a demand right. for energy there in the day ahead market. So it's kind of a, a vicious circle we're dealing with there. Uh, we're basically paying 38 bucks a megawatt hour for it. And sometimes we can't give it away. So, but we're green. <laughs> There's probably an added adjective that goes with it. <laughs> yes, we, won't, right. we, won't, we won't bring that up. Green, <laughs> green. <laughs> There's a different kind of green that's missing. <coughs> uh, any, anything else of Jim? If not, uh, review the accounts payable. I got a question on it. Page, uh, page one of five. Mm -hmm. To the city, uh, insurance 76, sewer 348 for 424. Is that is that a, a, a monthly deal or? The, the sewer payment, that's the reimbursement that, you know, since we're the billing agent for the sewer, we collect that money. Okay. So that's what that money is. It's just reimbursing the sewer. Okay, revenue. okay. But yeah, that would be monthly. Marshfield Clinic, uh, you pay for respiratory tests, and is that for the water plant or chlorine? Chlorine, and yeah. Okay. For yeah, so it's all water. Guys. Yeah, all water. Yeah. Okay. I did want to point out to the, to the commission on the investment report, if you look, we do have a new investment um, at River Cities Bank. It's, a, um, it's fully FDIC insured, essentially it's a sweep account. So we, we put some money there and then anything over $250,000 gets swept to other banks. So the FDIC coverage is, is intact with that, but just wanted to, to point that out to you guys. And it's a decent interest rate for cash that's readily available to us. And that, is that the limit for to have FDIC? The 250, 250, right. So they keep 200, I think 245,000 locally, and then the rest gets yeah. farmed out to other banks. So you increased your interest by 50%. That's pretty good. It's helped. 
actually, 15 times. Mm -hmm. So actually 15 times from the Wutra, so it's yeah, yeah. pretty good. Are there any, any other comments on the uh, comms table? Uh, if not, would somebody like to make a motion to adjourn? So move. Okay, we have Joe made the motion. Mike seconded it. I did. All in agreement, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.